Deze analist is de gast in een Israëlische talkshow. Knap. This next reporter has found a perfect location to do a story on airport noise. Will there be limits on the amount of noise to try and calm the residents either side of Heathrow? Will there be restrictions on night flights? And will the noise above me shut up so I can... rarely attack people actually and what you generally find now this is the perfect location for a story on getting back to nature and nature <laughs> getting back at you let's hope this guy's story is about the first day of fall is the camera rolling <laughs> speaking of fall the gloves are courtesy of the Baxter converter company Bel Paso a little over a year ago the company <laughs> Live news lets reporters get the day's hottest stories. Hot. <laughs> like this sizzling scoop. That's good. Okay, now. About the second degree burns on their tongues. Tomorrow, Carol will have Thanksgiving off, but uh, she will be here, or we'll have Thanksgiving off. Carol will be here to teach us how to make turkey sandwich leftovers. All right, now, what else do you want to do here, Susan? We're going to show you some of the places that are offering a free Thanksgiving dinner. And hopefully their casserole won't be quite as hot heated up in the microwave as this was. Well, it's been a great party, but we've got one last surprise for the family before we go, so I'll be... This reporter goes on location to surprise her guests and gets quite a surprise herself. <laughs> this happens to be one of the most historic locations in all of the world. That's right, the site of the famous two oblivious women. When a new pope has been elected. And let me look at those women over there. This next field reporter's picked a perfectly safe location. Not an animal in sight. That will make... Got the dog going? Hey, get the... Many forms of energy travels in wet. <laughs> Have you seen? Made him look the car. Do something. <laughs> Do something. You're a repeat offender, or if you have even one... All right, I can see the sprinklers. You can see the sprinklers. Why is it such a surprise to her? And I'm getting wet. Okay. A call at MCTV 7597788. For a story about elephants, it makes sense to be near one. Hi, I'm Judy Wine. Maybe just not within <laughs> earshot. <laughs> And how about those reporters who throw caution to the wind, following a story that has them staring right into the face of danger? Um, let me have a feel of this. It's really, really, really dense, isn't yes. it? Yeah. Yes. It yeah. yeah. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> well, actually, if she were staring at the face, none of this would be an issue. Een deelnemer al lopend interviewer. Ze kan haar alleen niet bijhouden. Dapper als ze is, probeert ze het nog een keer. Weer gaat ze onderuit. Een huge bumblebee flying right above your head. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry. All right, well, let's get into the story then. Okay, finally for this hour. Runners from around the world are in California for a marathon with breathtaking views. This is the 15th annual Big Sur International Marathon. And you're right, there is a huge bumblebee. <laughs> now watch how the guy shifts from a story on the local marathon to tennis. 